Okay. Bam. Montana Grizzlies get splashed across mm -hmm. the ring, but what are you thinking? Uh, you know, it was a lot of excitement. Uh, I think at the time we kind of knew it was going to be us. It was the last, you know, the last bracket to be revealed, and we thought we were going to be a 13 or 14 seed. So I think that we're really anticipating that uh, gun a matchup against Gonzaga and Boise. But when that did happen, we saw Michigan flash up as the three seed. We we're pretty sure we we're going to be that 14. But once you saw it, it was a lot of excitement. You know, we confirmed we knew what we we're doing, and uh, I think everyone was just ready to get to work. I think yeah, everyone pulled their phones out, looked at some stats on Michigan and how they've been doing, and yeah, it's re it really exciting time. What are your impressions after looking at some stats, some quick stats? Uh, you know, obviously, we, we've seen them play throughout the year. We watch games, you know, we, we love co watching college basketball, but I think they got uh, one of the best bigs in the country in Mo Wagner, and he's going to be, uh, I think, I think key, to, key to the game on Thursday. So, yeah, just, yeah, very exciting. Just from a little bit you've been able to see of them, is there anybody that you guys have played throughout the season that reminds you in any way of that? Uh, you know, it's tough. Uh, it, as, as, you, as I just said, they they got a big, great big player who can play on the outside, and you know we haven't really played a whole lot of teams like that with the inside-out threat. But I think they got some pretty good shooters on the on the perimeter as well, and playing the big sky, you come up against that every every game you play. So I think that that's that that'll be I mean a bit of comfort. You know we're not going to be too surprised by their ability to score from the perimeter. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's unreal. Yeah, I've been. Uh, Close a couple times, and uh, for it to ha I, th I thought it wasn't going to happen this year either. You know, too many times that Friday night game, I still have no idea how we won that game. We just pulled that out somehow, and even halftime last night, it was you know thinking it was going to be uh, same old, same old, and fall short just again. And uh, again, but it's yeah, very exciting. We're here senior year, and we got, we got a very experienced group where we our starting five are all upperclassmen. And we all know our roles, and everyone top to bottom knows what we want to do, and. Uh, yeah, very excited. You guys have a really close knit team. You guys mm -hmm. rally around each other even more in this kind of situation. Oh uh, yeah, we do. You know, we're going into a na national tournament, and uh, I think no one really expects us to do anything. So we know that we're going to have to be each other's energy, each other's motivation, and for us to do anything, it's we're going to have to be as a group. We're not going to be able to beat teams playing playing uh, one on one basketball, or not if we're not together. So yeah, we're just going to have to stick together, and that's that's how something something good is going to happen.